Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Shalina Monet. So I'm at the park and I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I feel like I need to catch the moment when I can catch the moment. So I'm currently at the park with my son. He's out there playing, I can see him and I'm sitting in the car. There's a couple reasons why I'm sitting in the car. I'm sitting in the car because uh, one of the reasons of this video is I went out to work out at Orange Theory and they kicked my butt. They kicked my butt and my body is hurting. And it's been like two days and my body is still hurting one step at a time one step at a time I can hardly pick up anything on the floor yesterday I was telling my son to please bend down and pick up a bottle cap because I couldn't pick it up without crying it was just so bad but okay let's scratch all that out we are here because I am taking currently phenamine 37.5 milligram um, medication. So I'm going to give you the rundown of all the symptoms you could possibly have from taking the medication. Also, I'll tell you the symptoms that I'm experiencing and I'll tell you how long I've been taking it, how much weight I've lost on my own and how much weight I've lost on the medication. Um, yeah, so let's go through it. So, oh, and I'll tell you the reason why I'm taking it as well, but let's go through the symptoms and everything. So, I got my list here, so I'm looking down. This is why. Uh, so, it's a long list of symptoms. So, a fast heart rate. And when I say fast heart rate, I'm talking about resting rate. So, like right now, I'm not running, I'm not exercising, I'm just sitting down. So, normal heart rate should not be over 100 if it's normal, but everybody's normal is different. But yeah, the typical normal is 100. Anything over 100 is high. Um, yeah, so fast heart rate. Nausea, vomiting, upset stomach, constipation, diarrhea, dry mouth, unpleasant taste in the mouth. You can get hives, heart palpitations, impotence, high blood pressure, hyperactivity, insomnia, restlessness, headaches, tremors, dizziness, Increased or decreased interest in sex, your sex drive. Um, so the symptoms that I've been experiencing is fast heart rate, dry mouth, slight constipation, uh, insomnia, headache, and I've had increased sex drive. Um, so I'm gonna explain what's been going on with my symptoms. So fast heart rate, um, it's happened when it's fast, I can like feel it. And it's like 120, um, the highest it's been is like a 139, 140. I was out on a hot sunny day, on a Sunday I remember. And I know I was running up and down these steps at the progressive field and um, I mean, I stopped running. I wasn't running anymore, and my, my heart was still pounding hard. I felt like I couldn't catch my breath. Yeah, that was really scary. Um, but now, just on regular, it just seems to be like 112, 120. It doesn't stay there, but um, I can feel it when it does um, get there. And I have a Apple Watch, and I track it from there. My doctor also says that that's not always 100% accurate, but um, she showed me how to actually test my own uh, pulse and count for a one minute to see how many beats I'm having. And if I have any high ones, make sure I mark them down. I do it several times a day. Um, I'm experiencing dry mouth. I combat that with water. I've really upped my water intake because I do have slight dry mouth. Um, constipation I'm having slight constipation it's not I know I'm not regular okay TMI but um, it's slight constipation and I've been working with that by taking um, well my doctor said I take some Benefiber um, I've been taking um, these pills called I can't think of what they're called but I'll definitely leave it down in the description box um, insomnia has only happened to me twice it happened when I was first starting to take the medication because I was not um, taking it early in the morning enough 
soon as you wake up, take it. Guzzle like a whole bottle of water down if you can. Um, whole bottle of water. Oh my God, I got an empty one right here like this. At least over half or the whole thing. Um, yes, yeah, one night I just like, I can't go to sleep. Like just don't have the feeling to go to sleep at all. It was weird. Never had that before. And I love to sleep. Headaches. I've only had two. But I don't know if it was caused by the medication. Because it was literally around the time where I was on my female thing. So, yeah. Increased interest in sex. So, um, to describe this in the words of if a man is watching this video, it's like you're getting aroused. But there's no one or nothing around you to get you aroused but it just happens and it's just really was weird i'm like oh my god like why am i feeling all weird you know obviously it's a natural thing but i don't have like a husband or anything so it's, it was weird for me um so after taking the medication your highest peak for the medication is like around three to four and a half hours after taking the medication that's when it reaches its highest peak point um, and it can last for 27 hours in the system. Um, so next thing I'm going to talk about is my starting weight. My starting weight before taking the medication, before really dieting, was 255 pounds. I lost three pounds on my own and that took a month to lose three pounds. Um, so then after losing three pounds, I was 340 pounds. I'm sorry, 352. Taking the medication, I lost six pounds, so currently I'm 246. I started the medication on August 23rd, and my first weigh-in with the doctor was September 13th. So like about three weeks time um, for exercise. I work really crazy hours, and I do have a son, so like I can't come home and just start working out or anything like that, you know. So I do my walking on Sundays. I do some weights at home about, I think there's six pounds, six or eight pounds, something like that. And I do a lot of sit-ups, stuff like that. Uh, but I needed something to really accelerate this because when you're on this medication, you're only on it for 12 weeks, three months. And then after that, they stop the medication. For some people, they continue it. You know, after a certain like break period, they continue the medication. Um, it is a controlled medication um, as well. Uh, the reason I'm trying to lose weight like this, um, despite all the crazy symptoms that I could be having, uh, is because I'm trying to get a breast reduction. And in order to get a breast reduction, I've already had a consult with the surgeon and he stated to me that I needed to lose a certain amount of weight to even be considered for the surgery. He said, you definitely need the surgery. Like, you, you are definitely a great candidate to have the surgery, but you need to lose weight. Um, you need to lose weight um, because the risk factors for the surgery, the healing, you just heal faster, less risks for getting infections and stuff like that if you weigh less. Because um, currently, for my bra size, I know you guys never see, like, from the, from the neck down so I'm like a I'm an H yeah I'm an H cup right now so yeah I've got about 16 more pounds to lose and I'm supposed to see the surgeon again in November so hopefully by then uh I can lose the weight and be ready for um, the surgery. Yeah, I have to get approved for the surgery for the insurance, you know, it's like uh, one battle after another, we're gonna do it. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to come on here and just tell you about it. I will be checking in on you guys with it to let you know how it's going, how my results are, um, I'm losing the weight. Oh, back to Orange Theory. So Orange Theory Fitness is, um, it's not a place, it's not a gym where you go and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go do this today and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do these many reps and I'm gonna, do, no, it's not like that. It's a gym you go into and you're in there with a class. Um, each day it's something different. They have, they were open, they are open seven days a week 
and uh, I went in there for my first day. It was just a, the first day is free. Like you have to make an appointment, but the first day is free. And I went in there and I um, uh, like, I'm so happy like I survived it because I really didn't think I would. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did a lot of work, but um, I think I might go back and do some more. But yeah, thanks again for coming to my channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, YouTube.